What's going on guys? As some of you may or may not know, there are now officially Surface Duo demo units kiosks in Best Buy and AT&T stores. Some of them. Unluckily enough, uh, not the ones that I've checked nearby my house. However, they are out there in the wild. And one uh, awesome Reddit user went and used one of these demos, took some pictures around the Best Buy, and then uploaded them onto Reddit. So we have our first uh, in the wild, real confirmed photos taken with the Surface Duo. So what I'm gonna do is we're gonna jump over and we're gonna look at these photos and kind of see how they look. I did a video before breaking down social media posts from Panos Panay and people like that. And we looked at the photos there. I thought it looked pretty passable, pretty serviceable, but now we have this. This is pre-release software as well, so these, you know, it could, it will probably get better than this, but we have pictures. So before we go in too far at all, the user's name is Reset Orange. Uh, thanks a ton for your post here. So let's look at the first picture. So first photo here, keep in mind this is on the Surface Duo pre-release software, 11 megapixel camera. A lot of people have a lot of concerns about that camera. Well, okay. First thing I would say about this picture is that the colors look muted. And if you go back to my video before, I said the same thing. Um, appears to be, it kind of leads, lends some credence to the video that I'm in before because this looks very similar. If you zoom in here, retaining a decent amount of, of information here, You've got the same kind of grain here on the edges that I talked about and in the in the shadows that I mentioned in my video. Um, not incredible, not terrible. Pretty pretty passable. And again, with software updates or um, Gcam mod being ported to this, this is definitely workable. Let's go to picture number two. All right, very similar here. The colors look, I mean, honestly, they look fairly... Uh, what I imagine to be fairly accurate, they're definitely not over the top or oversaturated by any stretch of the imagination. Detail is passable. This isn't blowing me away, but it's not it's not terrible either. This shadowy text down here is readable and the lights up here aren't super duper blown out. This is not terrible. Picture of a Pikachu hat and honestly this is this is fine as well. I think that one thing you do notice in this picture and in the previous picture is the lack of natural bokeh um, with the aperture, the size of the sensor and so forth that this camera is. Portrait mode is a good, we're gonna have to use portrait mode in order to get that focus fall off. You're not gonna get any bokeh just taking a normal picture. He says on this one that, he says I had to crop this, sorry. Um, same things seem to be continually true. Details are fine. You get a little bit of graininess in some places. Looks as though this is a little lost focus, a little bit, a little bit grainy here. Pretty tight focus here. And then this appears to be the last picture. I think you just took a picture of another Surface Duo. You still get that grain. It's a grainy looking image, but that can 100% be cleaned up in software. I personally cannot wait to see what this looks like with Gcam software. I think this is fairly promising. I'm not here telling you, hey, this this is blowing me away. Greatest pictures I've ever seen. No, but it's totally passable. I'm going to leave a link to this post in the description. So if you want to go look at it yourself and see it, not in a YouTube video, but see it you know, on your screen, you can go do that. Thanks again to Reset Orange, Reddit user, for, for posting your stuff. Um, awesome work we are not that far out now guys it is august 31st so we are looking at I man september 10th is not that far out guys so we got just a little ways further to go be sure to subscribe i will be doing a live stream of my un unboxing september 10th when i go pick up my device and then i'll have obviously a ton of content about the surface duo after that that's all I've got for you on this one, though. Until next time, stay nerdy, my friends. If you enjoy my content, please consider becoming a Scary If Literal member. You'll get access to a whole bunch of emoticons to use with live streams and a shout-out on an upcoming video. Thanks, as always, for your continued support.